might be a two-parter. Cool. Nuggies, girl. Pretty girl. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. In one of my videos, Nugget got right in the shot and exposed her butthole to me and to the camera. And I'm dealing with a little bit of an editing issue. I don't know. Am I supposed to blur out a butthole, a kitty butthole? Will it get shadow banned if I do that? No! Guys, they were all asleep. They were all asleep. The second we start shooting, every f***ing time. Every f***ing time. Anybody want cats? I got cats for sale. Anybody? Anybody? You know how I know Taylor Swift's legit? She f***ing likes cats. I can trust a bitch who likes cats. Somebody who does not like cats is not worth trusting. Cause like what gives? I don't know, I always find raspy voices to be sexy. I don't, I think uh, the one hate comment I've gotten in my entire lifetime, the one that hurt the most, was somebody that said I look like a drag queen who reeks of cheap beer and like stale cigarettes. And I was like, that one hurt. That one hurt for several reasons. One, it's offensive to drag queens. Second, you're probably right. <laughs> For loco, stale cigarettes, just not the drag queen part. I got the, I got the rasp today. I didn't do my vocal warm ups. Not that that would have helped any of this stuff right now. I went to Nam this weekend. It was super fun. I should have gone the first day. I don't know why I, I didn't. And I, I took some cool shots that I got of people in and around the convention. I only did this on Saturday. I should have done it more. It, it had dawned on me as I saw the very few females that were, not that there were, they just weren't at least 50% of the group to see some badass females in there. And I got some cool fits. I got some amazing performances. I figured I'd just share them right now. This passion project of mine has been a delicate, lovely, nightmare of us figuring out this shit but I realized something I in watching all of these other podcasts I have realized in now that I am I have a better ear and eye on watching other people's content I'm realizing I'm not the only one with mic issues so sure get your shit together road get your shit together this shit needs to be user friendly for us dumb I'm just kidding. Shout out to Road Insurer and my uh, Black Magic for <laughs> uh, being so nice to me and helping me with my mic issues today. Am I looking at this one? Oh, Mackie, fucking Mackie. We're gonna talk about it for a second. I, it was a Nam release, and if you're a streamer, you're gonna want to fucking just shut the fuck up, sit the fuck down, listen for two seconds. I'm too excited. I can't talk about this. I learned about what I think is quite literally the greatest product for streamers and is going to be a game changer for anybody that's a Twitch streamer, anybody that does social media. And that is the, and you'd think I'd have the name ready. It's the mainstream. It's the Mackie mainstream and I'm buying it today. And what I love about this product, this is not a sponsored ad. I just need to talk about it because my problem as I'm realizing I'm building out this studio and doing my Twitch streaming and doing podcasts and doing all of this stuff that, it does, audio and video does become kind of a, a nightmare, a hurdle, if you will, to do everything in one, in one, with one device, one console, in one sitting, in one department, on one memory card. And what I love about the mainstream is not only can you do that with one device that is no bigger than like two deck of cards put together, but it has capabilities for you to, I'll just, I'll show you a video and anybody that's a streamer wants to understand. Like I have a picture in picture. Maybe I'll just make this clip, a separate clip for my streamers out there. But like I use, I'll just tell you what I use. I use the ATEM Mini Pro and I have a Mackie DLZ creator. And one is an audio device. One is to help me switch between cameras. And what I love about the Mac, 
funky main stream is that I don't even need to use my DLZ creator. I literally just have to use this one small device connected to my cameras and connect it to my console, my gaming console. And if anybody knows those types of problems that streamers go through, maybe everybody else has figured it out, but I've learned as I'm just a novice streamer that I'm, I'm learning a lot in this process and this product came out two days ago and I'm screaming about it. So if Mackie wants to send me one my way, I'd love it. Otherwise, go get one yourself and it's $2.99. And for anybody that knows camera or streaming equipment, filming equipment, audio visual equipment, it is not cheap and this provides everything that you need to stream in one device. So check it out, DLZ. I'm sorry, <laughs> Mackie Mainstream. And I, oh, I was gonna show some other videos. Let's, oh, I shared a picture of my feet on Instagram and it got the most like, it got the most likes and views that my story has ever had. I think it came pretty close. And a lot of people told me that I was doing something really dumb by not putting it on Feet Finder or like offering it up for free. But my response to that is, I gotta create a demand for it. And how do I create demand? I offer up free picks. Feet people don't just go away. In fact, personal experience, most of the people that request feet picks from me do it on the regular basis just to see if I'm gonna... Oh, what? <laughs> feet fans just don't go away. I have ones periodically check in via DM just to see if I've changed my mind or if I'm in desperate need of money. And we're getting there, we're getting close. Um, I might just start auctioning this shit off. That would be fun. A foot, a foot photo auction. It'll be like, <laughs> it'll be like that Wu-Tang album. <laughs> it goes the highest bidder. You're not allowed to repurpose it, sell it. You're not allowed to share it with fucking anybody or I will sue you liquidated damages, attorney's fees. That's, that's what I gotta do. One pick, that's it. I diluted the market by say, like posting that picture on my story. F How do you not know the Wu-Tang story? The Wu-Tang album, they made an album, I don't know, in the last, was it the last 10 years? This was, but this was tied to Shakrell, Sh his, his last name is not worth knowing. Shakrelli, I think it's Shakrelli a pharma mogul. I don't even remember what his job description was. Anyway, he bought the Wu-Tang album for a shit ton of money. I don't remember which came first. The uppricing of the, of the AIDS drugs or he, he, oh, he made so much money off of spiking up prices on AIDS drugs that he was able to buy that Wu-Tang album. What a f***ing loser. I saw a video of him the other day. I was like, please don't bring him back. Like out of anybody, anybody, everybody else can have their second chance at life. That guy, he doesn't seem apologetic. It's like, what, whatever. The good shit we saw at, at Nam. let's see if we can. I had the initial intention of, or inspiration to take pictures or clips of women that I thought looked awesome or in whatever capacity were just dope as f I was walking the convention at one point, there was a, a salesperson of something, I don't know, and she looked at me and she was just like, women, I'm like, Fuck yes. <laughs> and I said, I'm gonna spread the love and be like, women, to the women in the co convention right now. Papas, knock it the fuck off. <laughs> oh my God, he stopped. <laughs> he said, I don't give a bitch. I gotta wait till he stops, man. Okay, what did I actually wanna talk about today? I feel like I ranted in several different directions. Now that I can finally fucking think. So this chick was named, I, f I finally found her. Her name was Amy Grace. So this chick absolutely shredded. Every person that walks by her or walks by her performing stop to take a video. And everybody that I heard as I was walking by was like, holy shit, this chick is amazing. And I'll shut up, so this play for a minute.
<laughs> Emmy Grace. Emmy Grace is her name. Check her out. She was dope as f I need to stop cussing. Dope as frick. This is Eliza May. I saw the Tiny Humans crew, which are some, uh, they spin, they spin records, they're DJs, they were dope as fuck. I only got a short clip of them. Alicia Witt? Ali Alicia Witt? Great. I only caught the last couple of seconds. This is me at the Sure booth, having a good old grand time testing out my mics. And only to, to realize that the mics that I've been struggling with up until this point might be faulty. So we're switching them out. Thanks to Sure for helping me figure it out. They're very quick with responding. Shout out to Sure Mics. There we go. The mainstream. I'm telling you about the mainstream. If you don't know, get it now. It's gonna be it's gonna be a hot streamer product. You watch. Everyone's gonna have it. And then this chick thought she didn't have a good voice. And I was like, can you, she was testing out microphones. I was like, can you just sing this for me? If you take too long to hit that me wasn't back, very good. I can't promise you how I'll react. All I can say is I'll be so wait for you. You can go ahead and call uh. yourself. Love, love, love. Uh, her name is. Oh, okay. Her Instagram page is awesome. Her name is Paige Faust. Paige Faust? Anyway, IG, Queen Paige Faust. Check it out. Check her out. She was. Gorgeous and an amazing singer. Who else did we get? I got a good fit. Her name is I Am Cara Music. Fine as fuck, first of all. Fuck with the fucking cussing. You know what? Maddie Matheson cusses all the time. And if Maddie Matheson says it's okay, I say it's okay. Her fit was fire. Her music's awesome. I was screaming in this video, so don't mind me. I was a little twisted, I'm not gonna lie. I hadn't eaten yet and I started with the vodka crayons. I don't know why. I don't need to drink when I go to these things. Nah, mm, bullshit. Nam is a, is a convention where I drink. Any other convention, it's not really prime time for drinking, but it is for me. So um, check her out. I am Cara Music. Cara, 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 Cara. And then I don't know if you've, anybody has seen Yachty by Nature, but Yachty by, I'm a dot, I'm a, Fan girl Yachty by Nature. I'm a fan girl for Yachty by Nature now. This is. Can I play the music? I can't even hear what. Come on. Buzz going. You hear this. <laughs> uh, fun fact, saxophone is my favorite musical instrument, so anytime, I didn't get to hang out in that section a whole lot, but uh, anytime I hear the saxophone, it does something for my brain. It's the same, it's the same sound in that new Chromio song that I, I let you hear. It's whatever's up here, whatever sound is like right here is like it tickles my brain just a little bit. Like it just, it gives me something. I don't, somebody needs to do a scientific study on what that is. That little just like, I don't know that it's dopamine. I don't know that it's like a serotonin, but like there's a, there's a feeling associated with it. It's like the cuddle, it's like the, is it not oxytocin? What's the, uh, the cuddle chemical in your body that they say when you like hug or, oxytocin does not sound right. It sounds like a toxin. It is oxytocin. Look at me, I am smart. I need to do, that'll be next week. We'll be frequently asked questions part two or question and answer part two. Cause I got a lot more questions. Hopefully when my voice doesn't sound like garbage.